All these babes coming close, all these fair, fair girls coming close to us. Oh, mm, people should hold your side to Nengi is here in Nigeria waiting for us. All. all right, guys, you're highly welcome back to my channel. If you're new, you're welcome. If you're old, you're super, super welcome. So, today, guys, Ozo was interviewed by Joy FM. You're going to be seeing that today, and also, he had a live interview. Of which you just saw from the beginning of the video I'm going to allow that play very soon so you watch all through and also he went to a garment factory where they produce jerseys and other clothing activities like other clothing jerseys for footballers you know he's into sport and he loves sports a lot a lot and he was asked some certain questions about why he went to the people and Niger house he said he wanted a bigger platform for him to go into sports and for sports uh, officials to know him even better. Watch the videos, guys. I love you, Freda. Yeah, it's you. Let me walk you out some questions. Hi, how's it going? Some wanted to advertise their business, some wanted to show off their talent. Yeah. What, what really was your mission? Uh, mine was the fact that, I've said it a billion times as well, that the um, the printer in the house was tired of seeing my CV. I literally printed it so many times. So um, I always wanted to work within the sports uh, uh, administration or sports industry. And it was just saying, okay, fine, I'm going to use this as a platform to go and showcase myself that I have knowledge about sports and maybe someone is going to see that and give me an opportunity. And yeah, so I went there. Luckily for me, we had the uh, Betway trivia games. So I was blessed that those games were in place and people were able to watch, people that watched the show were able to see, oh, okay, yeah, this guy know stuff about his sports and yeah that, that was my main aim was to just go and showcase the fact that I had knowledge. Did you get more than that? Oh yeah. I mean like from going on the show. Yes. Yeah 100 percent because um the fact that when I was on the show I did so many other things, you know, so we went into acting, we acted a little bit which is something I know I I do not want to go into as well. But I mean but to explore that part of myself and um challenge myself so many times especially when we had the pepsi task and tricky t and i were teammates and we had to challenge ourselves to get the best part of ourselves that we could at that point in time and yeah so i think doing all those things the show gives you an opportunity to explore different parts of of your of your inner self and now coming out of the house yeah i think i've gone more than that because now there are more business ideas that i'm, mm. I'm really i'm really going uh, exploring and that's what the show is really good. A few people also got, went in there to look for love. Did you get love? Um, I would say, yeah, I mean, like, I met so many people that, um, that I think I'll take the, they do care about me as well, you know? So, I mean, you go there, it's not yourself and 19 other people, different mindsets, different characters as well. But then um, you're always going to meet some people that are, like, close to you as friends. I mean, the closest people I was to in the house, I had uh, Lincoln, V, Nengi, Neo as well, and I think uh, the public literally gave us like, give us uh, a name um, for for how close we were. So, yeah, and it's good now outside the house seeing how well that they're all doing as well. So I think for me that's uh, that's been like a blessing. If, if you had the chance to relive Big Brother Niger, would you spend more time getting to know somebody else? Uh, no, I mean like, I think I had. Okay, I know he, he talked about it, um, uh, the fact that me and him, we really never spoke uh, so many times when we're uh, uh, on the show, that's Lekon. Lekon. And I think the, the closest me and him got was when we had the, the task that both of us did together and we won that task as well. So yeah, I think, um, I mean, seeing 
seeing uh, now while outside the house and I, I think me and him pretty much have actually become closer now outside the house than we were in the house so yeah I think if you if you if I look at that dynamic I'll probably say maybe him okay. but, but excluding that I think um, I was there for nine weeks so pretty much had great time with, uh, with all the same with like every single house man the house stuff um, the appearance we're excited that you're coming on the show. Um, yeah. A lot of them are tuning in right now. Some of them are watching us on Facebook. We'll activate the phone lines as well. People want to interact with their also. Okay. So uh, the number to call is 0302216541. And uh, lots of the messages as well are coming in on our WhatsApp platform. I don't know whether you can project that a bit later. Uh, maybe not now, but a bit later you can project those questions. Or, yeah, yeah, so that I can ask also. Or you can activate the phone line now for me. 0302216541. And Ozzo said if he was to go back into the Big Brother Niger house, he would go close to Lakon instead. He would choose Lakon this time. Maybe over Nengi. We don't know. But watch the video, guys. At the end of the day, um, if I have a group of people that I do care about and I see both of them saying, okay, I have a shoe line, I always wanted to, to uh, promote my shoe line and I wanted to succeed. And Shuline is doing great, so everyone should be happy for that. The other person, well, I always wanted to work in the sports industry. I always wanted to do more of that. Uh, uh, the other person is uh, getting uh, I, really, I really want to get that's what, this that's, that's what it be. Be. You know, but I'm not sure they want to know how her shoes are doing. Their shoes are fine. <laughs> they want to know how her heart is doing. <laughs> no, I'm sure her heart is fine because where 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 where's the first the first place her heart obviously is at is, yeah. to, is to get her business to the next level and obviously now it's getting to that level so I'm pretty sure she's she's uh, when she was here yeah, you you, you you sounded like her business so um, if it's going on well then I think we'll leave it as that yeah, yeah. all right um hello. Good yes, good afternoon. Welcome. Titanus from the Republic of Oshima. Hi, Hi. Ozo. Hello. How are you doing? I'm doing great, thank you. Oh, my God. What's your full name, please? <laughs> <laughs> well, my full name is Ozemela Joseph Chibu. That's what my full name is. Okay. Ozemela Joseph Chibu. That's what my full name is. Okay, Ozemela. Hey, Nigerian friend, I want you to describe yourself. In just one sentence, how will you go by it? In one sentence, not one word. Yeah. Not one word, one sentence. One sentence. Uh, okay, I would like to say I'm, I'm someone who is uh, determined and hopes to achieve a whole lot in his lifetime. Yeah. Good enough? You know, Ghana and Nigeria, we are cousins, you know. I do know that. Of this together, we swim together, we can together, we play football together. Yeah. Thank God you are in Ghana. Thank you, thank you for having me as well. Thank you, amen. Thank you, thank you very much. Man, thank you so much. For a minute I was worried that it's only the ladies who'll be calling you and admiring you. And then the brother came in. The brothers are a whole different level. Okay, hello? Hi, you're welcome. What's your name? I'm Angela. Angela, also here. Oh, Angela, I have one. <laughs> Hello, Angela, how are you? I'm good. Oh, I admired you a lot in the house. Yeah. I, I think you're the first baby person to leave and I cried. I really admired you and the way oh, you Sorry, sorry, you. sorry, sorry about that. And I really admire your friendship with Mandy. God bless you both. Amen, amen. <laughs> Thank you so much, Angela. Thank yeah. you. I mean, the love is overwhelming, and it's not just Ghana, from all over the world. And I'm sure yeah. you follow it on social media. What don't you like about the thing? Uh, what do I like about the thing? I don't know if there's anything I could pay my out. I think the only one thing I'd say, but it's something that every single person, before you uh, become famous in life, you should always understand is the fact that um, you're always going to get trolled. It's always going to happen. I mean, like, everyone, you'll be delusional in life to think that every single person is going to like you or love you. That doesn't happen. Like, even if even if you're not famous, not everyone will like you. It's the life just, some people may just see and they wouldn't like it just because of how you walk or how you talk or how you chew your food or how you drink your water. That's, that's just how life is. So it's something that you should know that the trolling is always going to be there. So it's always, you need to know how Some to of them get to you? 
No, you need to know how to protect your mental health. So me, I'm the, I'm the kind of person that, regardless of what I see, I just see boom. And at that moment, I see that I'm like, why would someone say something like this? And then I'm done. So I literally like zone out. Because mm. for me, it's always important to protect my to protect my mental health. So yeah. what I always do is I always say, yeah, whatever that person is saying, I know it's not a reflection of who I am mm. or what I am or what I'm going through or where I'm going to get to in life. So as long as the person, for me, those are just words. That's all you could do. You can't, you're not going to stop me from getting to where I so want to get to. So none of it gets to you. No, like you, it get, you can get to you me at that moment. You can one point <coughs> that you really saw something like. No, I think for me, for me, cause, cause it's me, yeah. It's always going to get for me. The path for me that gets annoying is when people bring like my, my family into it. Okay. So that's when you bring my mom, my sisters into it. So yeah, that part gets to me. But at the same time, I mean, me and my family were smart enough to know that those are just words. People yeah. can say whatever they want to say, but just zone out of it. Take the take the good stuff yeah. and just uh, leave leave the bad stuff behind. Was that one thing you did in the house that you regret doing? Uh, one thing I did in the house that I regret doing. Uh, maybe not playing the. Uh, I think playing the prank late. So I think it was literally after like week one. I was thinking about taking everyone's sheets and pillows and whatever and hiding them up somewhere. So I think Neo. Uh, Neo Nike myself uh, eventually played the trick. I think it was a few weeks towards like the end of the show. So I think it would have actually made more sense if, if it was done like maybe week two or week three. Yeah. So yeah, I think that's the only thing I would probably regret. Regardless of every other thing else, no, nothing. Well, good stuff. So what's next for you? Now you've got a TV show running, you've got a, yeah. a radio show, you've you're endorsing like a gazillion brands. Yeah. <laughs> how, yeah. many, how many brands are you working for now? Uh, online. <laughs> Or eleven. Oh, 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 you're not even sure. Yeah, oh, it yeah. has to be eleven. You, yeah. need, you need, you need a second PA. Yeah, no, 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 for, for them to actually take a chance and say, okay, we want you to, to endorse our brand as well. So I'm really grateful for every single brand, our entertainment and all that, uh, fashion as well. So it's like um, getting all the business angles of what I want yeah. to do. I think I all right, guys, for those of you that have been looking for the number of brand also is influencing, I hope you heard him say it by himself. This one you didn't hear it on the radio said or anybody was Ozo's from Ozo's mouth himself. All right, so I hope you enjoyed the video and please don't forget to click on the subscribe button, like and share my videos and leave your comments below. Thank you for watching. I'm always here to give you live gist. This is live is going on right now as I speak.